What's goody perps? I was gonna say happy so and so, but I'm not vlogging. This is a regular thrift video. But this is gonna be a part one of a part two or three video. <laughs> All depending on what my thrift trips is looking like in the future. But as of right now, I just went to one of my local thrift stores to pick up a few things. It wasn't my, my most favorite thrifting day or thrifting trip, but I'm not going to complain because I still was able to pick some stuff up. I'm experimenting with some new styles, so let's jump right on in. So the thrift store that I go to is half off on weekends from Friday to Sunday, and today's Friday, so I got my half off. Hey, it's the only time they see me is on Fridays. So the first one we got is this. And this is from the brand Tommy Bahama. I have another Tommy Bahama shirt in my closet right now that has not sold yet. It's been there for about two months, but I got this one and Oh, but I have some Tommy Bahama pants that did sell recently. They were all silk though, so I don't know if the material had anything to do with it. But the other shirt that I have, I don't remember what fabric it is. But the pants did sell, and it had a slight defect on it, but it still sold $20. About $20, I don't remember the exact cost. So this was a $2.50, so we're going to give it a chance. I'm still experimenting with a lot of stuff since I am still fairly new to this reselling thing and since I mostly pick up Victoria's Secret I don't even know how all these other brands really sell because I'm like so stuck on one brand <laughs> all right the second one I got I've never heard of this before but I poshed it and it seems like it has really good reviews on there and I just noticed that there is a hole in the back of it sheesh Louise oh you know it's not a hole it's Oh, I hate that where they put the security tag because I can see the indents of the little circle that was on there that sucks so of course I'm gonna have to include that when I'm telling people about it but I should have I don't know why they put the security tag on there like that <laughs> they're ruining my stuff <laughs> it was eight dollars so half off I paid four bucks but it's from the brand Oh, I can't be peeling off these tags yet. Not yet. Malo, Maloha. I believe it's a Hawaiian thing. And I poshed it and it had some really good comps. I was seeing things on there. Not this particular design, but just the style itself. Between like $35 and like $60. So I was like, why not pick it up and experiment. Um, when I first picked it up, I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. It's kind of unique. And it's like, the fabric is good quality and stuff. So I was like... Let's see if this is something worth trying to sell. So I'll be experimenting with that. Believe it or not, another Tommy Bahama. And what is this like a tennis skirt, I guess? A running skirt? It's a skirt. It's an athletic skirt <laughs> um, from Tommy Bahama. So this is my fourth. Tommy Bahama pur purchase we're going to be experimenting with both but the reason I picked these up not for the style or anything but it's new with tags and since, since it's the holiday season and I'm hearing other people saying hey pick up lots of new with tags because people probably will be buying it for Christmas presents so I took those two factors into consideration when I picked it up one Tommy Bahama is a uh, it sells pretty decently in the retail market and two it's brand spanking new <laughs> this is what i'm excited about this is what i know and love victoria's secret not only is it victoria's secret it is also joggers okay guys do you see this look at like all of the beading and stuff on there look how cute that is and what's the best thing about this being not just Victoria's Secret and the fact that it is joggers and that it has beading and rhinestones on it, it is also new with tags, baby. <laughs> so this is in a size small. This originally retailed at 20, um, 20, 
This originally retail at $39.50. So hopefully somebody sees this and they want to pick it up and give it as a Christmas present. I hope somebody buys it before I try to keep it for myself. Oh, I forgot to tell you the sizes on the other stuff. I always go to the plus size section before I go to the regular size section because I know they sell better. But um, this was an extra large. This was a medium. And this is a medium, although it wasn't a plus size section. Last I checked, medium was not plus size. But they probably just, someone was just moving stuff all over the store. Anywho, all right, next one. So I got this, and I am not familiar with the brand, so I will have to posh it, but I didn't try and check any cops on it just for um, the fact that this is Christmas, and I know people are picking up a lot of Christmas stuff. Also, it is new with a partial tag. <laughs> That's another reason why I picked it up. Look at the little ornaments and everything on the back. That is so cute. And it's a cat. Every time I put, I sell cats, people buy it, no matter what the brand is. So I didn't even care what the brand said. I just wanted it just because someone's gonna buy it. Somebody's gonna buy it. So I took all those three factors into consideration when I picked it up, that it was new with tags, that it was holiday themes, which right now when I'm filming this, it's November 19th and it's a cat. Everybody loves cats, unless you're a dog person. <laughs> um, I got another new with tags. This is Adidas. I just recently found out that a lot of brand new with tags Adidas and Nike sell. So I'm experimenting with that. Plus I was excited to get it because it's in my color. <laughs> um, it's off season to be selling this or using this right now since we are in fall. But spring and summer always eventually comes around. So. I got this for four dollars and this is in a size eight and I got this for four dollars too and did I tell you about the Victoria's Secret thing did I tell you how much I got that for four dollars all these things are four dollars usually usually when I go to this thrift store I pay about two fifty to three dollars on average but all the stuff that I saw today were on the pricier end so I don't know how to feel about that <laughs> And this is probably the cheapest one of the whole haul. That is Victoria's Secret. It's a pink shirt, workout top. It's like backless style. So this is really cute. This is an extra small, and this is at two dollars. So yeah, that is very cute. So that is it. It's a very short haul. I usually get around ten things from the thrift store, but because the prices were so not expensive but enough for me to not go over my budget this is what we have so i will be going to the goodwill outlet tomorrow so i will show you what i have there hopefully we can meet up in this spot and we're not sitting in my car again um i got one two three four five six seven seven pieces of clothing my total was $28.82 I try to stay at or around $25 but it's okay to go a little bit over it's fine I'm not rich but I do have an extra three dollars and change in my bank account yeah so my whole I guess my whole, what what am I trying to say? My whole goal for going into these stores um, now in the season that we are is to head straight over to athletic wear. I always go to athletic wear first. Why I go to athletic wear first is because athletic wear can usually be worn year round. So I want to pick up stuff that can be used year round, that's going to sell year round. And I always have Victoria's Secret in mind and I always try to pick up those other brands that everyone talks about I can never find them in this thrift store 
and I wish I can say another one because I don't really go to many thrift stores. It's just this one is just really, really cheap most of the time. Not today. I mean, it, these prices are okay, but I'm telling you, I do better. <laughs> I usually do better on my costs. Yeah, so go straight to the athletic wear, and then after I do the athletic wear, then I start looking for long sleeve tops, and if I still have a budget, then I would head over to the jeans, since we are in that season for long sleeves, and we're always in the season for jeans, so that is the whole goal. For the Goodwill outlets, I will tell you that tomorrow what the whole plan was when I went shopping for it. So I'll see you soon in a few seconds. <laughs> What's well, goody perps? This is the day after I'm doing my other thrift haul. So I got up really early this morning and I went to the bins and this was the best bins trip that I've been to so far. Keep in mind I've only been to about five or six of them, but <laughs> my wife is very hot. <laughs> Thank you, husband. <laughs> so I wanted to show you, I'm going to show you my favorite thing that I found today last, but I'm going to get into all the other stuff right now. All right. So, oh, I wanted to tell you the total. The total was $33 and some change. And let me count how much stuff I have. And then I'll do the math to see how much each item costs on its own. So this is one, two. So I got 31 stuff. I have 31 I have 31 things and I paid $33 all in total. So that's awesome. That's awesome. You you can't beat the the outlook prices. <laughs> okay, so one of the things that I got was a DVD, so I probably shouldn't even count that. It was really 30 stuff for $32. But I got this. This is the Like Mike DVD, and I don't plan on watching it. I was just like a huge Lil Bow Wow fan when I was little and stuff and I actually have this movie somewhere but I couldn't just leave him sitting there I'll just have I'll put it somewhere in the house just to add to my my Bow Wow collection <laughs> I didn't need to pick that up I really didn't but it's there okay so one of the things that I picked up was this torrid top this is is it regular top? I don't know if this is like some kind of lingerie thing. There's a lot of lace on it. And the size one is like in this nice, what was that, like mermaid blue? No, it's kind of darker. This is closer to like a teal color. It's like a teal blue. And I have a feeling that it's like inside out, which it is. Okay, there it is. That's, that's how it really looks. But look at how cute that is. It has like a racer back kind of. So yeah, that's cute. Torrid sells very well for me, one of my favorite brands. I accidentally picked this up. I put this on the the bins cart so nobody can take my stuff. I would say our stuff since Kimmy Unlimited was there with me as well. Um, and then when I was like halfway through the trip, I'm like, oh, this is kind of neat. Why don't I just keep it? It looks almost like um, a pillowcase throw like the thing you put on the pillowcase but it's not because I don't see any insert so I'm assuming it's probably like a rug or something either way I picked it up because it's in the right color so I'll do something with that I'm not selling that I'm keeping that I, if I didn't help I have a I have two different piles for me and then what I'm reselling then there I got this Victoria's Secret bra that's VSX I think that's what they that's what it's called, right? Yeah, BSX. So Victoria's Secret sports bra. How nice is that? The bras for Victoria's Secret doesn't sell the best for me. That's not the best Victoria's Secret. Um, the best Victoria's Secret, what am I trying to say? It's apartment, <laughs> but it will eventually sell. I think something like this will probably sell quickly. The sports bras get looked at more so than the other ones. And they always get a lot of attention, but they don't sell that quickly. And that same goes for this. I got a cache jacket. This is like a blazer jacket. I think there's like faux fur on it, and it looks new. It doesn't look like it's been worn before. It has like faux fur on the sleeves. 
I have two other cachet items in my Poshmark closet and all the other platforms that I sell on. Um, one is like a completely for floral top with lots of color and stuff. It's really, really pretty. And the other one is like a yellow dress. They have not sold yet and they've been sitting there for a long time, but they do get a lot of attention. And I thought this would probably be something good to pick up because we are in the season for it. Not in Florida, but the rest of the world. <laughs> At least in the Northern Hemisphere. Um, yeah, we'll probably look into this. I've never sold a cachet jacket before, so we'll get an idea of how that does. Now, I'm pretty sure I heard of this brand before and I think it sells good from what I remember I could be wrong don't laugh at me if I'm wrong about this but either way even if it wasn't like a really good brand <clears throat> there is this dress oh and I'm noticing a defect on it there's a couple defects on it but we'll see um, it's an all sequins dress from Parker and I really couldn't leave this behind there's just like so much going on here this would be a nice dress to wear for Christmas or New Year's or something. Um, the defects that I'm seeing on it is like some of the sequins are missing, which I figured would be missing because there's a lot of sequins and stuff going on on here. But yeah, you see that too. But you can't really notice it unless you go up closer. So I'll check comps on that and see what we can do with that. I'm one of those people who would still put up things online to sell with defects because if someone really really wants it they're going to buy it so I put them up there I know a lot of times people find a defect and they're like oh let me go ahead and re-thrift this or like do re-donate it and stuff when someone's gonna eventually buy it, it may not be now and if you drop the price enough they'll buy it but someone will buy it I I've sold lots of things with defects before. People bought it and they gave the best review after. So I'm just saying. <clears throat> okay, here's another one. This is, I don't know, is this pink Victoria's Secret or just Victoria? Oh, it's pink Victoria's Secret. There's the pink on there. It's a regular bra, um, pink and gray. And this is in a size. Thing is a little worn out 32 double D so we got lots of Victoria's Secret I'll leave you for later times I got this for myself I've never heard of this brand before but it's moral fiber but I just like the design on, on it I love the shoelace thing here on the top and it's like in a purplish, burgundy-ish color and it has like stripes down the sleeves and stuff too. And I just like the way it falls. Um, <clears throat> I think this would be nice for fall weather. I'm in Florida, so this is probably gonna be the most warmest type of thing that we can pick up, although it's very, very flimsy and stuff. But I wanna somehow feel like I'm in, like I'm hanging out with the rest of my United States buddies, you know? pretend that we're all cold or they're all really cold and I'm pretending to be in a colder climate because we don't we, we don't really get that opportunity like other people do so <laughs> am I weird I should have worn like a sweater to do this like this little haul and stuff so give like fall vibes but then then I'll be misleading the people <clears throat> excuse me all right moving on to the next one so while we were thrifting we found like a whole bin full of like Victoria's Secret pink. It was everywhere. Like we hit the jackpot. This is the earliest I've ever been to the bins. I don't know if it's like an early morning thing or we just lucked out and why how we found so much pink in this but there was a lot. <clears throat> so I found these. Um they're not joggers, they're just regular sweatpants. And it says love pink there's some pilling and stuff on here just a little bit of pilling like on the letters but I have a a pilling shaver to take some of that off and it's not too bad so there's some wear on it but trust me 
it will sell. <laughs> Got the striped blouse, collared blouse, some pink and gray, um, and it's in a size extra small. Was this an extra small too? For some reason, most of these things are always small and extra small for Victoria's Secret. I just wanted to be big. Yeah, this was in a small too. Oh, I didn't even check the size of this shirt. I'm picking up for myself. I don't even know if it's gonna fit. Um, there's no size. Oh, it was 2X. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, so Victoria's Secret. This is a Victoria's Secret blouse. Has a little pocket on the front and has these little something, something lits on it. Which is really cool. He came here to be on the the broadcast. The cast broad. The cast broad. Okay, this. I picked this up not just because of the color <laughs> and because it's my style. No, that's not the reason I picked it up. But it's so cute. I don't know what the brand is. I tried to find it on Poshmark, but I was running out of time. But I think. I think it says it's Noah. Noah. I don't know if this is an anthropology brand because I did see something on there like that. And there's like a little image too. But I'm tempted to keep it, but I'm, I can't keep everything in this haul. So <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna try and sell it. But it is like really good. It's really good quality. So I don't know. But it's it's also really cute. This is my style. So we'll see. This was this was one of the best pickups. Besides probably the Parker one, Theory is probably another one of the pricier ones in this haul. I have one other Theory thing that I found the first time I ever visited the bins, but it's not getting any attention. It's just like a regular plain pair of capris. And capris are not like that popular right now, so that's probably why it's sitting so long. But I'm gonna try this shirt. So Theory, I know, is a really good brand. It has like these little slits and stuff on the sides of them. And it's just like really, really good quality. I was very excited to find this one. And it's in a size large, and that's in black. Victoria's Secret, yet again. But it's pink. It's like a little cardigan in white and gray. So that's nice kind of smells weird it has a little pocket here on the side which is really really cute and this isn't a size extra small all these extra smalls and stuff smalls and extra smalls are so much harder to sell okay I have this one this one is nice it's another pink Victoria's Secret sweatshirt it's like tie-dye and what color is that like white and like maybe olive green and look how the back looks this actually looks very new it doesn't look like it's been worn and this is a size large I really feel like I want to keep like everything like pink I don't know I just like the way their stuff fits and I know people like their big logos and stuff but it's so cute okay I did notice a, a defect on this next one but I'm still gonna see how it sells. Um, I don't know if this is supposed to be a foldover. Yeah, it's supposed to be because the dog is here. There's these foldover tie-dye, extremely lightweight. I don't know if these are capris or what, but there is like there's like a little stain or two actually. I'm noticing more. Here on the back, I don't know if that can come out, but I'm going to try. You see that? Right there, yeah. I'm gonna try and see if that comes out. If not, I'm still gonna listen and just tell them about the defects and stuff, but it's like, fold over, fold over pants. Oh, this is exciting. I picked this up and put it down, picked it up, put it down, I wasn't sure if I should pick it up because I don't know if it would sell, but it is good to experiment with stuff, especially if you're getting it at the bins where everything is like extremely cheap. But I got <laughs> PJ Bottoms with Stewie. 
Stewie Griffin from Family Guy. So I don't know how this will do. I haven't heard anybody try to sell cartoon characters from, you know, Cartoon Network or Adult Swim before. So I'm going to experiment and see that how, how that goes. I really do like Family Guy. That was a favorite of mine when I used to watch it. I've never heard of this brand before. It's AR, ARC, I think. But the reason I picked it up because one is denim and denim always does well with everything. And it also has these nice embellishments on it. So I know something like this would do well. Isn't that cute? Denim jacket with embellishments all on the top. Isn't it? Isn't it though? Okay, next item. Got Victoria's Secret again. It is a bralette. And I was talking to Kimmy Unlimited about it, how their sizing goes, because there was actually another bra here. No, this was a, this is a small. Yeah, that was right. This is a small. And there was another bra that I got here. And this is a medium, although the medium looks like the small, and the small looks like a medium. Same brand. They're both Victoria's Secret. But for some reason, I don't, like, I don't understand that. Like, this looks like a small, this looks like a medium. But yet, this is a small, and this is a medium. I don't know how their sizing goes. <laughs> okay. Here's another one. Pink Victoria's Secret. It's another fold over leggings and you see like pink down this leg and this isn't an extra small I really wish there were bigger sizes of Victoria's Secret I've said that so many times now but for some reason I only always find the extremely small sizes it's cool though it's cool all right here's another one another pink victoria's secret this one just has the p on there with the little emblem and it has like little stripes and stuff on the bottom with the little pink dog um size small of course <laughs> but that's it okay I noticed some staining on this next one and I'm actually a little saddened by it. I I I don't know. It I don't know if that's a design or staining. It looks probably like it's staining. But I'm still gonna wash it and see if I can get it out. But it is juicy couture and it says juicy loves Hawaii. And I've heard that Hawaii, anything Hawaii does good on Poshmark and stuff. But look at all the embellishments and stuff. And look at the little, the little heart here where it says Juicy on it. So I guess it's worth it. If I can't get the stain out, of course, I'm going to still post it. And then tell people, see the staining here and here. Post it and just tell people about what's going on on it. But I think it's really cute. Juicy Couture is one of my top selling brands, so I hope I hope I can get this sold. <laughs> Alright, next one is Star Wars. Star Wars does very well for me. People like Star Wars, so I picked that up. This is a very, very lightweight t-shirt. And this is in a size small medium. This is not in the best shape, but I'm sure people would still buy it. There's cracking on the logo, but it kind of looks like a design too. It could be, it could be the design. It's possible that it's, I don't know, but you could tell that there is wear on it. But it's like flared bottoms. It's a pink Victoria's Secret. I bet it's in a small. Isn't an extra small. <laughs> but they have the big little, the big little. They have the big cat there. Cat. What is wrong with me? They got the big dog there that is cracking. That's what I was trying to say. Not cat, but cracking. Yes. 
but it's not in the best shape, but it's still there nonetheless. Okay, almost finished. You only got a couple more to go. All right, so I have a plain top. There's nothing interesting going on on this, but I was thinking I could put this with one of the other bundles from my other basic pink Victoria's Secret tops. But this is it in a nice hot pink in a small. <laughs> Although this looks more like a large. And another basic pink Victoria's Secret top. Oh, this is actually cuter than that one. It has a little crisscross stuff on the front. I don't know why I didn't even notice that. I like the way it falls though. I wonder if I should keep this for myself actually. I'll see how it fits and I'll decide whether or not I'm going to keep it. Because I don't really have regular black, like plain black shirts, which I should because it is almost necessary with some outfits. And I had one that I bought recently and it's too big. Like all up here is like it's showing and showing way too much up here and I'm, I try not to show up here too much <laughs> okay this is really cute I like this pink Victoria's Secret and it's like um, it's like a it's a dress I think it's a regular dress and it just looks like really really small like it's extra small I know it's extra small but usually the extra smalls are usually pretty pretty big <laughs> But this is probably like a much older item when they were actually giving real measurements and not like the fake measurements here in 2021. No, it came out in 2008. I don't know, but it really does look like really, really small. Like I'm usually able to model the extra small stuff, but I don't even think I could fit into this. So we'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. All right, and then there's just another basic another basic one so since i have two basics here and i'll just add that with the other third basic that is already in my closet in the color black i'm gonna do that this is in a size size small so they're all small so that'll work i'll just put them all together and do like a three for one deal or something like that this is the second most awesome thing that i found at the bins today I was so happy, like, I was almost jumping for joy, because I'm a nerd. But look. Oh, you guys are about to die. Okay, so I'll talk quickly. This is from, like, a Christmas story. Everybody knows this. So I wasn't sure whether or not I wanted to keep it or give it away. I could tell the person who had it before was, like, really short, because they safety pin, like, uh, some of the bottoms and stuff. But I already checked comps on it, and on Poshmark, this is selling between like $40 and $50. So I'll probably pro price it at like $45 and then accept offers. But I was like so excited about this, because this Christmas story is one of my favorite Christmas movies. And that's why I was deciding whether or not I should keep it. <laughs> um, and the one that I was the most excited about, it is pink Victoria's Secret but this is like a, on a whole different level this is way different from the other things we've seen it's like a blinged out pink Victoria's Secret like onesie a thermal onesie and look at the back it says naughty is the new nice and it has this little thing i forgot what you call this like that old school thing like <laughs> and this is like the perfect time to wear like for christmas time and stuff like kim's trying to talk me out of like not keeping it keeping it because i want to keep it <laughs> but i know this is going to sell very well so this was what i was most excited about like i'm really 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 excited about this I kept a close eye on the cart the whole time because if anybody took this, I would have started fighting at the Goodwill bins today. But this, this is so nice. And these are the bottoms. And this is in a size small, of course. But yeah, this, yeah, this is the most exciting pickup, I think. I think. I'm going to go through the comps and see if I should be more excited about something else that's here in this pile.
<laughs> okay, so you guys are dying. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm going to go and put this all on my inventory soon and wash them tomorrow and try to resell it and model and everything next weekend because I can't do it during the week because there's no daylight. I get off of work at 5 o'clock and by the time it's 5 o'clock it's dark outside and I can't take pictures in the dark so I would have to wait until next Saturday to do it. But I'm so excited to post these things. This has been my best, 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 best thrift store finds in a long, long time. So yeah, okay, I'm gonna put you guys on the charger and I'm gonna catch you in the next thrift video or hair video. Thank you, perps. Bye.